It's nothing like the beach where uh, if you got a little, something that's bugging you, a little problem, I like to go out by the beach and uh, go out there and watch the waves come in and out. And I take what I do is I, if I got a thing that's weighing heavy on my mind, when the waves come in, I just send whatever is bugging me out with the waves. And so uh, when I leave the beach or the water, I always feel better. Well, my friends today think I'm a nut because I I was raised up off of uh, country music. I love country music. My name is Herman Johnson. My age is 51. And uh, I'm uh, oh, maintenance support for a uh, new college fitness center. Yes, I was born in a small town in Georgia, Eastman, Georgia. It's 50 miles south of Macon, Georgia. And I uh, grew up on a farm, farming. And I went to school. Uh, attend school, high school at uh, Dodge County High. And the name of our football team was the Dodge County Indians. And I played football there, high school football. And I was a uh, offensive and defense tackler. I stayed on the field. So, well, it's 10 boys and, and five girls, all from the same mother and father. And so I grew up. Uh, an old wooden home, something like Little House on the Prairie. I don't, I don't know if you're familiar with that show, but uh, I grew up like that. Uh, my uh, dad, he was a farmer. My mo mother, she used to keep houses, and I always followed my dad around. All of us did, and. Uh, we all farm. We know all about that. I didn't make it through high school. I had to drop out of school at 16 in the ninth grade. I didn't get any further than the ninth grade because of the kids. Was Everybody was growing up and going away, and so the bills had to be paid. In a way, I'm sorry that I didn't finish high school, but in, in a way, I, I I'm happy because my dad needed me and the rest of the younger kids needed me, so we had to do what we had to do. I don't know if you ever heard the old saying, getting up with the chickens, and that's what time you got up to, uh, you get up with the chickens to, to farm. Let me tell you, at the end of the day, you did a day's work, but uh, I uh, used to farm peanuts. And those fields are dusty. You eat dust. You smell that fuel from the old tractors. But uh, it was fun. Uh, I don't have no regrets. It was it was just nice to to plant the peanuts, and a couple of weeks later, you know, you see the peanuts start sprouting up. Started farming with my dad, and uh, up until I was about. 17, 18, and I'm like, it's time to make a change. So I came here to Florida. I came here just to stay in the 70s. I just started coming down, and I'd stay about a, two or three months, and then I would get, it took a while because I, I kept getting homesick. You know, I wasn't used to being down here. It was, it was fast. It was too fast for me. I was used to the slow life, you know, like the, in the country, you know, I grew up where blacks went with blacks and and white went with whites. I came here, and I thought I had died and went to heaven. I'm like to see everybody getting along and hanging out in the same bars together, going to church together. I can remember as a kid where the Klansmen uh, rode over our house and shot up 
in the rooftop, you know, and my mom and dad would say, get on the floor, get on the floor. And, uh, you know, I could see them uh, riding by with the sheets and stuff. But, you know, they, they integrated where we all went to school together, you know. But, it's you know, it was still tough on us. I came down here. It was shocking to me because uh, to see blacks and white getting along. My first job I ever had here was uh, I don't uh, I think it's 10th Street the Hyde House and uh, I worked there for like three and a half years all the way up to the I think the 20 stories and I worked there on that high rise for like three half years and then on from there to marble and i worked at the marble company for 18 years and from there here to the college and uh i hope this is where i you know uh retire yeah lead over i'm talking about right when the beach start it you can just park your car and walk right out there and, and there it all was it was just one part of it was just the nude beach i go i would say topless i guess further down you know then it was just it, just regular beaching but yeah when i first came here yeah it was uh it was lido was there was certain parts of it was was nude it was the darn thing i ever seen oh i just never uh got that opportunity to uh to have my own kid but uh my wife that i'm married to now she has five and they all grown i got grandkids and the i got two i said i raised that's uh dion and malia dion he's 14 now and malia's uh she's 15 I was there in the hospital when they were born. Me and Dion, we get together every week, uh, every weekend. So we got quite a few spots we go fishing. We go out on the bridge there. Uh, they have the bait house and all. We go there. Uh, Sometimes we go down to uh, Blackburn Point. That's before you get the Osprey, I guess that is down there. We go there fishing by uh van wazel he's a better fisherman than i am he oh he can catch him i i just go out there just more or less not to relax we throw out throw the net out to catch our bait a lot of times so we save on buying a lot of bait we we catch all our bait and uh then we go then we start uh fishing we run into a, a stingray from time to time, but we cut the line on him. Flounder, trout, and we throw the net, and we get mullet when mullet season. Sheep's head. I don't have good luck like I used to. I used to could go. I pretty much guarantee that I was going to bring home uh, fish, but no, nah, I've. Several times I scratched that off. I, 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 it's just changed. I don't know if it's from the red tide or or what, but it, it has changed. Me, oh, uh, country boy from Georgia, Sarasota, uh, made a lot of changes for me. They was th I, things that I wanted to do. But when I came, it was like I, things I wanted and I couldn't have in Georgia where Florida made it possible for me. And uh, I used to want things and I couldn't have them there. I have my ups and downs, but uh, like I said earlier, the, my good time, times here in Florida have outweighed my bad times.